Hey everybody, it is Tuesday, September the 26th, and welcome to Good Morning Madison County. Coming up next, everybody, stay tuned. To our great sponsors, Madison County Emergency Management, the Madison County Library in Richmond and Berea, KYMedia.net, and the Cane Pole in Southern Hills Plaza. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Madison County Live here. Good morning, Madison County. Let's give us a hand clap. Yes. Yes. Colleen is on a special conference break she does have permission to take that i i gave her permission to do that and uh but uh she'll be back on friday so it's just moi i do want to tell you about the uh special weather forecast you can always check it out at madisonkylive.com 24 7 check out our live cams there as well madisonkylive.com and of course uh, our weather uh, pattern is, hey, today we do have a 20% uh, chance of showers today, uh, somewhere between 81 and 86 degrees. Uh, and on Wednesday, uh, we also have a chance of uh, thunderstorms as well as Thursday, 79 to 84 on, on Wednesday and 74 to 79 on Thursday. So always that chance of... Um, some rain this week and we need it don't we but don't you love those temperatures 86 84 and it looks like it cools off on thursday so that's our weather and and i also wanted to tell you as well the valley view ferry is up and operational folks get out there and um, take an opportunity to take the valley view ferry it's always a great great ride plus it's a shortcut if you have to happen to work in uh, Jessamine County or Fayette County. So uh, take your time uh, and go out to the Valley View Ferry. It is open and operational. So I wanted to tell you that as well. And on to our very special segment, Pet of the Day. You're going to love this. You're absolutely going to love it. Oh, would you look at, look at this. You're going to love this. Would you look at Louis Vuitton? Louis Vuitton. He is adorable. Look at him. He is so special. Let me give you some information about Louis. Louis. Louis is French. I don't know if you all know that or not, but yes, it is. Well, I had that tab up. Oh, here it is. Louis Vuitton is named Louis Vuitton because he's a stylish and handsome dog. He's a male and uh, handsome and stylish, just like the brand, but you can call him Lou. He's a one-year-old lab mix, uh, black, only one year old, uh, with black and a little red short hair. But he's a little shy at first, but he warms up quickly to people who are kind to him. He loves to play catch and go for a walk, and he's always up for a great adventure. Louis Vuitton is loyal and a loving companion who will be your best friend for life. So if you're looking for a dog who will always be there for you, Louis Vuitton is your boy. Please contact the Madison County Animal Shelter out on Berea Road. 
give them a phone call, send them a message, and say, I saw Louis Vuitton on Madison County Live, and I want to uh, uh, reach out and take him home. You know, take him home just like a handbag. Maybe he can help you carry your handbag, ladies. And remember, adopt, never shop. Louis Vuitton. Is that not an adorable name? I love that adorable name. National Day today, folks. Now, I've been into baking, so I've made some cobblers, I've made some bread, and who doesn't love a good apple pie? Right now is harvest seeding for apple time, and it's Johnny Appleseed Day. Happy National Johnny Appleseed uh, Day, folks. Let me give you some history on Johnny Apple. See, day. We honor the man who made apple and pear trees grow heavy with the bounty of their fruit across most of the country. It is the um, day that we celebrate his birth and celebrate his legendary wit, wisdom, and enduring story. Now, this is the story. He was born John Chapman on September 26, 1774 in Leominster, Massachusetts. To Nathaniel and Elizabeth Simmons Chapman, nobody knows much about his early life other than when his mother died when he was two, but his father packed up Johnny and his sister and moved to Springfield, Massachusetts, and his father served as a Minuteman and fought at Munger Hill and Fort Wayne, Indiana, and Appleseed Park, a grave marks the spot where the legendary sower of the Appleseeds rest. In 1797, Chapman shows up in northwestern Pennsylvania propagating his Appleseeds and working his way steadily into the frontier of West Virginia, Ohio, and Indiana. Eventually, he travels as far west as Illinois and Iowa, and as far north as Michigan and Wisconsin. And apparently, Appleseed left orchards and the teachings of Emanuel Swedenborg, as the uh, Appleseed would buy whatever payment he might receive for his endeavors, and in turn, the nurseryman would give the books away as he traveled and planted apple seeds across the country. That is pretty cool for more information about National Johnny Appleseed Day, check it out on Google. I'm sure you can Google it and Google Johnny Appleseed Day. What kind of apples you like? There are lots of apples. There are lots. Let's look. Let's see how many. What kind of apples? Let me see. Do they list? Oh my gosh. There are probably hundreds of kinds of uh Apples, different kind of apples. I don't know exactly what kind of apple. I'm going to say the Golden Delicious. That's maybe what uh, Johnny did with the uh, Johnny Appleseed Day. I don't know. Maybe. Comment below. Very exciting news today, folks. It is our favorite, of course, Tasty Tuesday. From 5 until 8, it's at Irving McDowell Park. And uh, live music from Vintage Voodoo. And the vendors on site uh, tonight are Camite Alguito, Texas Roadhouse, The Catfish Bucket, Cindy Lou Who's Kettle Corn, Mad Scoops, Speedy Garcia Mexican Food Truck, Dreaming Creek Brewery, and Chenault Vineyards. That is all tonight at the Tasty Tuesday. It's the last one of the season, so make sure you get out tonight and check it out between five and eight at urban mcdowell park tasty tuesday so that'll be a lot of fun that's at urban mcdowell park and also we want to tell you about this as well the irvington house museum is opening uh an exhibit they're having a reception tonight on um the history of meals in madison county that's at 345 Lancaster Avenue, and that's, of course, in Richmond. The opening reception is tonight from 5 until 8. So that's going to be a lot of fun. The History of Meals in Madison County, an open exhibit at Irvington House between 5. Here, let me, it coincides with Tasty Tuesday, of course. Yeah, between 5 and 8 as well. And, of course, this will be our last Tasty Tuesday in Richmond. So that will be really neat. And... Of course, that coincides with, uh, everybody knows that the Millstone Festival is coming up on October the 7th. So you don't want to miss that. So that is tonight. For more information, check out the Richmond Parks and Recreation page 
on Facebook. Tasty Tuesday night tonight and an exhibit on the history of the meals. Folks, that is all the time that we have today on Good Morning Madison County. Big news coming on later in the week. You'll find out all about that on Friday and Saturday. We can't wait. We're changing it up, folks. That's all I'm going to say. We're changing it up on how we do some stuff. So you're going to want to stay tuned to that on Friday. Folks, and what do I always say? I always say, please be kind. Treat others how you want to be treated. And check on your neighbor because they just might need some help. And if your business or organization wants to help sponsor good news and events in Madison County, this is the place to do it. Your daily dose of local Madison County Live. So check us out on Facebook. Make sure you like and follow our page. And if you want to send me a message, you can, as well as randy at kymedia.net. Folks, have a great day in Madison County. We'll see you tomorrow on Wednesday. Get out there and enjoy some tasty Tuesday and enjoy your county. Bye, everybody. Thanks to our great sponsors, Madison County Emergency Management, the Madison County Library in Richmond and Berea, kymedia.net, and the Cane Pole in Southern Hills Plaza. business or organization wants to be a community partner with Madison County Live and help promote good news and events in Madison County, reach out to us on Facebook or email us at randy at kymedia.net.